Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer. It's December the 3rd, 2020. I'm Pastor Steve Woodfin from our Shepherd Lutheran Church in Birmingham, Michigan. And we're going to learn a little bit of Bible trivia today, but with a point, with a point on how God calls us to live in this world. Let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning and your truth at the close of day. Now, before we hear that truth, here comes the trivia. Now, I, want, I wanted to research what the center of the Bible was. Traditionally, Psalm 118, verse 8, is considered the center verse of the Bible. Not exactly. Psalm 118 is the center verse of the Bible. So here's the information. There are 590 cha 594 chapters before Psalm 118 and 594 chapters after. So it is the center chapter of the Bible. But if you look at the number of verses, 31,102, yes, we have them counted in the Bible. <clears throat> that means that the middle verse of the Bible actually is Psalm 103. And it's actually two verses because there's an even number of verses in the Bible. So two verses right in the center. I want to look at both this traditionally held center of the Bible, which is Psalm 118, verse 8, and then also the actual center of the Bible, Psalm 103, verses 1 and 2. And you'll see why in just a minute. Psalm 118, verse 8 says this, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. And isn't that the isn't that the everlasting battle while we're on earth to put our trust in God instead of in other people, in the world, and especially in ourselves? And now the actual center verses of the Bible from Psalm 103. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So one is God's command to trust him. And the second one is really the result of trusting him, the natural praise that comes from seeing God's provision. And that dovetails beautifully with my study today um, in Matthew chapter 6, the Sermon on the Mount, those words that we've heard so often about not being anxious, about how God takes care of the sparrows, how the lilies of the field are, are adored more beautifully than Solomon in all his glory and splendor. And listen to verses 31 through 33. Of Matthew chapter 6. Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And when all this comes together, I thought to myself, all right, God, I'm I'm getting the picture. I'm getting the I'm getting the news of what you want me to to say to the camera today to say to all you folks who are listening in to this evening devotion trust in the Lord with all your heart do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will set your path straight this is my message well God's message through me tonight to all of you as well that we need to trust in God above ourselves above anything in this world. He's got us. He's got this whole thing covered. And if if anything uh, that I want to change, it would just be his schedule on when he comes back <laughs> so that we no longer need faith, no longer need to have trust. We'll be in his presence fully and completely and see him as just as he fully sees us right now. But in the meantime, while we wait, we wait in hope, we wait in trust, and we sing praises to our Heavenly Father, who has got this covered. Amen? <laughs> Amen. Well, let's say the Lord's Prayer together, and then we'll, uh, we'll close with prayer as well. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
And Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for the salvation we have through Jesus Christ and the faith that you've given us. Lord, we, we look forward to the day when we no longer need faith, when we see you fully, just as we are seen fully now. In the meantime, Lord, by your Spirit, by the faith you've given us, through the power of your word as we spend time there in worship, as we receive the sacrament, Lord, work in us a trusting faith and the peace that comes with it, so that we are not anxious about anything, but instead, Lord, we just wait in joyful anticipation and hope for your second advent, for your arrival, for your return, to take this creation that has fallen so far and restore it to the way you, you intended it to be in the very beginning. In the meantime, Lord, just, just work through us to spend time in your word, all, all 31,102 verses of your glorious word, Lord. And may that word change us to be bringers of peace into a world that's full of anxiety. We pray that in the name of the one who saves us, Jesus Christ. Amen. And let's conclude with Luther's evening prayer as well. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. And our final word for this evening as we prepare to go to bed and retire in peace. Psalm 118, verse 8, the traditional center of the Bible. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Well, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace now and forever. Amen. Rest well. I'll see you tomorrow morning.